If you've talked to anyone here at Clive, or even just watched our videos, you'll know that we're big fans of Eureka's new Mignon series grinders. We received our first beta unit over a year ago, and have been using them consistently ever since. We've learned a few tricks in that time, so today I'll be sharing our top three tips. First, let's talk about cleaning. One of our favorite things about the Mignon series grinders is how easy it is to open them up and clean out the burr chamber. This comes in handy if the grinder is ever clogged. You'll know that's the case if you hear the grinder running, but don't see any grounds coming out. To get started, just pop this Eureka badge off the back. It's clipped in and the plastic is durable, so don't worry too much about hurting it. Unthread the screw hidden behind it and you'll be able to simply slide off this top panel. Under that, you'll then undo these three screws holding the top burr down. Then you can lift off the upper burr and access the burr chamber. All in all, this requires just one tool and a few minutes, making it really simple. We find the quickest and easiest way to clean the burr chamber is using a vacuum cleaner in combination with a small paintbrush or toothbrush. Make sure to focus on the opening of the chute here, as there'll often be much more coffee hidden inside. Be sure to use flexible tools so as not to damage the metal screen at the chute's opening. Eureka's micrometric grind adjustment knob makes adjustments both big and small quickly, but it can take a little while to figure out how much of an adjustment to make to get your desired shot time. First, it's important to remember that if your shots are pulling too fast, there's a 99% chance that all you need to do is grind finer. When your grind is too coarse, it can seem like your adjustments aren't getting you any closer, until suddenly the next adjustment doubles your shot time, so stick with it. These grinders are durable and powerful, so don't have any fear of grinding too fine. Even if you do, the grinder will only jam, which can easily be fixed by adjusting the grind coarser. Let's say you've pulled a shot with a new coffee and you get your desired output in 15 seconds, and you're aiming for 25. That seems like a big gap, but just by turning the setting 1.5 to 2 notches finer will be almost spot on. Let's pull another shot. It looks like we got our output in about 23 seconds, so we'll just need to make another minor adjustment of maybe a quarter or half of a setting. This sensitivity will vary based on the temperament of your coffee, but by sticking to increments of half adjustments or smaller, you can avoid overshooting your target. These grinders are also great for brew methods that require a coarser grind, like pour over or drip coffee. In order to switch the grinder to pour over, we'll have to make a much larger adjustment than we'd ever make for espresso, starting by rotating 1.5 full rotations coarser. From there, another half to full rotation coarser will get us to a good setting for drip coffee. Once you've done this, grind a small amount of coffee and inspect the size of the grounds to see if they look right for your brew method. Then adjust accordingly or brew your first batch. We highly recommend taking note of your espresso setting before making big adjustments. This will come in handy when you want to get back to pulling shots, but you'll still require a little bit of fine tuning before you're back on target. Before adjusting finer, we recommend grinding through whatever might be in the burr chamber and removing the hopper. After you've done this, you can make the large adjustment back without concern of jamming your grinder. When you're back to your espresso setting, grind a couple grams of coffee to purge any large particles that may still be in the chamber, and you're ready to go. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to hit the like button. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to field them in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tap subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.